What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly some really, really smooth transitions. And of course, you don't need any plugins for these. I am going to show you guys a few transitions that you need the Sapphire plugin for. Basically, pretty much all the other transitions are just without any plugins. You can just use the event pen crop to really, really make something cool. So if you guys are excited, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. And I would say, let's go ahead and start recreating this little montage that I showed you guys at the beginning to showcase some really, really cool transitions. So with that all the way, I would say let's get started, of course, right after the intro. Alright guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 18, these are basically all the clips that I use in the montage that I showed you guys in the very intro. So we're starting off with the transitions that you can use with the event pan crop. You don't need any plugins. Now for the first one, we actually started with a regular fade in. So as you can see, if I drag this one right here, it says as dissolve from the Sapphire plugin. But this is not actual a Sapphire plugin. It's just a fade in. As you can see, if I play it back right now, if I just mute the audio for a second, this is just a regular fade in. Nothing too special as you can see, because it's because I tried actual a few plugin because I actually tried a few sapphire plugin transitions on this clip so that's why it says as dissolve but there's nothing more than just a fade in so as you can see this is an actual zoom right here so how we recreated that is of course with the event pan crop so let me show you guys how that's done so right here I have I'm gonna just delete this one and I'm just going to show you guys exactly how I did it we're gonna put two separate clips to each other then we're gonna stand in the middle of both clips and then we're gonna go back one two three four five six seven frames then we're gonna make a little cut because because that's going to be the length of the first zoom. But then we also need to zoom out into this clip in the next one. So we're going to hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames forward. Then we're going to just go ahead and, for example, click on the event pan crop icon. And then we're going to make a keyframe to the very end of this little timeline right here. And we're going to just make a quick zoom, for example, like that. Now, the cool thing is that we want to have this smooth transition very clearly, you know, and that's why we have to right click on that keyframe and we need to click on smooth. So now now we're going to do the exact opposite for the next frame. So we want to make sure that we'll start with this position of this on the second clip. So we ended the first transition at the very end of this timeline with this position. Now let's say we're going to call this zoom. Now we're going to save that one as a, a preset. Then we're going to go to the second clip and then we're going to actually click on this zoom in template right here. So it's the same position. And then we're going to go to the very end, right click, and then we're going to hit restore. Now let's see what that looks like. As you can see, it looks really, really cool. We have a nice zoom transition. And of course, you can apply that with multiple different ones. We have, for example, this slide as well. And that's just basically having like this slide event pan crop going to the left. And then on the other clip, you just want to have a slide in from the opposite side. And that's actually pretty, pretty straightforward. So on this clip, I don't have any transition. That's just a regular jump cut back to this clip. And then we have another transition right here, which is basically just this zoom. So how that works is let me show you guys by deleting these clips. Every single transition works exactly the same. Have two different clips onto each other, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames forward. And then on the one where we're going to go out from, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames back. And then we're going to go back to the event pan crop. And now you can basically do anything you want. If you, as long as you place your keyframe at the very end, you can, for example, make like a really, really fast zoom in, for example, and then right click and for example, hit vertical. So it actually adds these black lines. And we can also do that for the other one. One. by putting this one in the same exact position hit of course a vertical and then go back to the end of the keyframe timeline right click and then hit restore and this is basically what it looks like we have this quick flash transition as you can see and that's not really really too complicated it, you can do actually a lot by just using the event pen crop without any plugins but what i did for the actual plugins is actually just pretty straightforward as well it works exactly the same as transitions without plugins are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. 
what you just need to do is you need to, for example, have seven frames forward, which is right here, and then seven frame backward. And then what you need to do is you need to hit on the event effects button. And then you want to go to the plugin chain right here. And then right here, we have a lot of different presets. So let's go ahead and start off with the first transition, which is going to be slide down A. We're going to hit add and hit on OK. Then we're going to go to the second clip. We're going to hit the plugin chain. And then, of course, we're going to pick slide down B. Go ahead and click on add, click on OK. And if I play it back, this is basically what it looks like. It looks really, really cinematic. But as you can see, as soon as it starts, you know, my, my color grading and my brightness and contrast disappears. So you just want to drag them on again by hitting the contrast one, which is that one, and also on the second clip. So as you can see right now, this is basically what it looks like. And that's how you use really, really cool transitions in Vegas Pro 18 with plugins and also without plugins. Because I think that you guys don't even realize yet how many cool transitions that you can make in just, you know, event pan crop that you don't need the Sapphire plugin for. You don't need any other, you know, transition packs to download. You can just do a lot by just going to the event pan crop, for example, right here. And then you want to make sure that you will always right click on your keyframes. And for example, mess around with the fast one with slow, smooth, sharp and all that. That can really, really make a big difference. And there's nothing more to it, actually. So, so if you guys have the Sapphire plugin, you can also go to the link down in the description. I'll link a free transition pack for you guys to download right there. It doesn't cost anything. It is just a free pack that I found online. I just want to promote. And that's basically how you can, you know, step up your editing game. And that's how you can also, you know, use a different transition than just regular jump cuts or regular J cuts or L cuts. There's nothing more to it. And this is how you can use some really, really smooth transitions. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Now you guys know how to create some really, really smooth transitions. You can apply this onto vlogs, onto travel videos, onto gameplay. Like when you make a kill in a game, you can make this really, really quick zoom transition or any other transitions that I showed you guys in this video. If this video went by too fast as well, make sure to just pause it, rewind it, do it at your own tempo. Thanks a lot for the continued support and I'll see you guys obviously in the next one.